Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to more Pokemon Shuffle. Now before we do get this video started, I just wanted to show you guys this new custom made t-shirt I uh, designed and got made and it arrived today so I wanted to show it off to you guys. If you can't really see clearly, this is uh, Final Fantasy Tactics which is a, a very old game and um, you can see a couple of the characters on the uh, t-shirt and I mean when you see it close up you can easily tell it doesn't actually have the name of um, the game itself but once you see it close up you can easily tell what game it's from uh, because of all the pixel art the um, the world map which is here just uh, beneath cloud and then it's got the uh, year just here I know it's very difficult to see but it does say 1997 when it originally released in uh, Japan but yeah just wanted to show you guys that and uh, get your opinions on what you think of the t-shirt I actually really love it I may make a few adjustments to it but Overall, I'm definitely pleased with the outcome. But anyway, enough of that. We are back with Pokemon Shuffle. Hopefully, you are all doing okay. And I do apologize because it has been um, a, a quite some while since I last uploaded a Shuffle video or even streamed it. So, yeah, I do apologize for that. But I have been playing it um, behind closed doors, if I can say that. And I've actually gained a lot of coins here. If you remember my last video, if you want to check it out, I had around 15,000 coins. Now I've got about 52,000 coins as you can see and um, yeah we're right back in it so there's been a few major updates you've had the uh, check in daily or at least check in 15 days within a month and then you get rewarded with a jewel that's actually the first time I've received a jewel from doing that but even though you get the jewel on the 15th day you still get something every day so you'll get mega speed ups um, mega starts all that kind of stuff so it's definitely worth checking in every day even if you're only going to play for two minutes or so it's still always worth it but in today's episode we shall we'll go into one special stage and then we'll um drop into a couple main stages and just see how it goes now there's a few things here there was actually something i wanted to capture i'm not sure if this is related to pokemon sun and moon but it does have a dialga and a palkia which is available for capture i'm not sure if that's part of the expert stages or not but um, we don't have any, so it's definitely worth us trying to go for it. I'm going to go with Dialga here, because it's the one I currently own over on my copy of Pokemon Moon. Now, there's only six days left, so we've got to be uh, quick about this. I'm not sure how difficult this stage is. Maybe we should just try it out for the first time, instead of just using all our item boosts possible, and then end up failing. It only costs us 300 coins, so uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Now we've got the coins to waste. I guess uh, we should go for it. So here we are. All right, it does seem like a stage where we need to use some sort of item boost, but um, 25 moves. It's a special stage, of course, and uh, there's no countdown currently. So hopefully, it won't be as difficult as I originally expected. Okay, going like here is going to be key. Okay, maybe it's a countdown every turn. Oh man, this this could be difficult. I think I think, or I'm hoping. Once you get rid of all the um, steel blocks, then it may possibly become easier. This is just kind of like a trial, uh, a trial turn, so uh, we just kind of hope for the best. And it's impossible to get rid of these ice blocks because they um, it's got the steel beneath them. So yeah, this could be tricky. I mean, right now I'm just focusing on trying to go mega with our Lucario, and then we'll see what we can do from there. So yeah, pay no attention to how we're playing right now. We're just kind of waiting for something to happen. So yeah, as you can see, uh, things are slightly made easier here, which is promising to know. This is this is actually pretty difficult. I'm, I'm afraid to see how Palky is going to turn out. I really am. All right, this should help us go Mega at least. All right, so it took us seven moves to go Mega. So I think Mega Star is definitely going to be an item to go for. And on the eighth turn... Pretty much all of the uh, steel blocks disappear and this is where I'm hoping things become a lot easier. Still I think a disruption, as you know, I wouldn't really want to go with a disruption delay. I'm not too sure. It could backfire, it could work. I'm not 100% sure. What would you guys actually suggest on this one? I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, we're going to focus on, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have to worry too much about using Lucario now because all the steel blocks are... Okay, they were gone, they were gone, but they're they're back with us. Alright, so we can break straight through those. And as we are up against a steel type, I'm not sure... Obviously, 
We've got our Steelix, who can get rid of the Steel Blocks. We're not going to take him. Uh, we've got Aerodactyl, who's not going to be super effective against this type, but it still could be useful. So yeah, a lot of questions to ask here, but I think we should, I mean, if we just use an attack power and a mega start, we will complete the stage. Where isn't in enough turns to get the capture? I don't know, we're going to have to kind of experiment that for ourselves. But um, it's not going too badly, considering we use nothing, so we just got to keep trying and hopefully um, all goes well. Yeah, disruption delay, that could backfire, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm really unsure about that one. Alright, do you know what? I think just starting again may be best. Yeah, honestly, I think starting again may be the best thing to do. Even if we do decide to go with an Aerodactyl, it may be a, a wise decision. So yeah, we'll quickly, um, do you know what, we may just drop out, we may lose experience for this, but do you know what, we'll just quickly rush for it. I don't really want to lose that experience. Nice. Oh yeah, let's just quickly get through this. Alright, there we go. So yeah, without any item boost, it was, it was pretty difficult to, um, beat this stage. I mean, if we kept trying, we probably would get there in the end, but it wouldn't be enough to get a capture. So we'll jump back in. I think we do have a free mega start or, or something. So we'll go ahead and use that. But what we do want to think about using is which mega Pokemon. I'm not too sure on everyone's abilities. We finally got a mega Charizard. Erases all Pokemon in a Y-shaped pattern. Hmm, maybe not, maybe not. We have our Mega Medicham here, erases a group of Pokemon in the middle at once. We also have Blaziken, replaces Pokemon. Okay, do you know what? I'm just going to go with the either the Aerodactyl or the Steelix. Maybe not Steelix, but I think Aerodactyl may be a suitable option here. All right, let's see. So yeah, Aerodactyl is actually ineffective. All right, damn. And then same with Steelix, but at the same time, Aerodactyl's at a higher level. See, that erases 10 blocks at once. Steelix erasing, okay, the same. Cool. We could go for something which causes a hell of destruction, which is always nice to see. But, you know, we'll see how Aerodactyl does, even though it is ineffective. I'm hoping this does pan out well. A Beedrill could help here as well. Do you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. B drill. Hmm. Do you know what? That's not a bad idea. We're gonna stick B drill in the team, but then again, he is ineffective as well. He is slightly stronger though. Do you know? What? We'll stick with the Aerodactyl. I'm, I'm getting a little bit um hesitant on what decision to make, but yeah, we'll stick with that team. We'll continue on. We don't want to think too much about what we're gonna do. Uh, we can go with one Mega Star. We'll go with one Attack Power. No disru disruption delay. The good thing about this, in those early moves, we can hopefully just get rid of all the blocks instead of messing around. Because it did take us seven moves to actually finally get rid of the blocks. But I think that automatically happens anyway. But yeah, hopefully this way uh, should make things a lot easier. So here we go. Alright, we need the Aerodactyl first. It hasn't given us, given us that fortune yet. Alright, now it's given us one. Cool. So yeah, we'll get rid of those blocks. We'll go with that one more time. As you can see, even though Aerodactyl is ineffective, um, he still does a great job of um, clearing the board for you. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, I don't think it's necessary for us to go with him again. So I guess we just try and string some combos together. Okay, what do we have? Honestly, not the best of options. I'm looking, I'm looking. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, not the best of options. I 
All right, cool. That worked out nicely. And I'm going to use it one last time here. Just get rid of those blocks down below. Now this proves to be a lot more difficult than I originally expected. Cool, we need one big move here just to wrap this up. Alright, 40 moves left, so we have used 11 of our moves. Whew, this is tough, this is tough. I always get worried in these stages because I hate to waste my uh, my mega starts and all that stuff. Alright, we should do this in the next move. Alright, there we go. So we've done it in 13 moves. I'm not sure what you guys would think of that. Was that a good run or or could we have done better there? I think personally Aerodactyl is a great choice to use with the Mega Star. I don't know, but this is the Pokemon I have uh, to use. I mean, I haven't I don't have every Mega Pokemon available to myself, so this is what we have to work with. And um, yeah, Aerodactyl definitely did help when you compare it to what we used the first time round. We failed there, we're gonna have to go with, okay, we can max out, it's definitely gonna be worth it. This is a Dialga, come on guys. Come on, we gotta use it. All right, there we go. Imagine we failed on a max, that would be, that would be quite frustrating. All right, there we are. So a rank A, 200 coins and a Dialga. Very pleased, so attack power of 80, ability is block smash plus sometimes clears three unbreakable block disruptions. All right, and with 80 attack power, I'm definitely pleased about that. And we don't really have too many steel Pokemon. So uh, now we've done that, I mean, it's just Palkia to go. We're not gonna attempt that one just yet. I'm actually gonna jump into the main stages here. And um, yeah, just try and make a bit of progression because I have heard or have been told that they are adding more main stages. And as you know, we are very far behind. I need to do my best to just catch up. We are way behind. All right, 291. All right, we're going back to, is this Gen 2? Gen 2, I believe it is. Anyway, do you know what? I want to try out this Charizard. We haven't even tried them yet. So eight moves here. Oh, a Mega Starts free. Awesome. All right, that was unexpected. All right, cool. Yeah, also one thing I wanted to mention before this video, or at the start of this video, was I'm actually over on Twitch a lot now, so um, that's a good place to find me if you can't see me on YouTube. So um, I have left a link in, in the description, and um, it's also on my main YouTube page, so if you do have the time or are looking for me, then please go over and follow me on Twitch, because I'm spending a lot of time there and it'll be great to have you guys on board there as well because you've been great here on YouTube and I'd love to uh, see you guys over on Twitch. So Charizard, shall we try him out so we see what he's uh, capable of doing? Alright so he creates a Y shape so this must be Charizard Y. There is the X version which I don't think we have but yeah this stage seems like it's going to be a lot easier than I originally expected so yeah hopefully we can get the capture here. Maybe we can even do this in one move. That would be insane. All right, cool. We did it in one move as well. Awesome. And the combo's still going. Can we make a hundred? We've made, we've made it halfway. Okay, we didn't make a hundred. At least we made it over halfway. But it's actually one of the challenges in um, one of the um, the missions. So uh, we may actually have to go back to that and use this as a um, stage to complete that that task but anyway 26% with one move that is a uh, that's terrible I was expecting big things and we didn't even get the capture do you know what I'm gonna use a great ball on this guy <laughs> I don't think it's quite worth it not yet anyway at least we got him to level four that's one positive we can take all right cool that went surprisingly well all right next up we have assessor a size a seismitoad 
uh, I'm not 100% how, uh, sure how he would pronounce this, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, uh, so water type Pokemon stage 292, let's go ahead and try this. Alright, we can actually use a Mega Star again. Damn, why are they so generous to us? Alright, you know what? I'm going to actually adjust my um, camera here. I mean, I only had it zoomed out because I want to show my, you guys my uh, t-shirt. So, uh, we'll go back to what we're normally used to. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Alright, let's break, break those blocks at, at the top. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm a little uh, puzzled here on what, what's best to do. Maybe that wasn't wise because it kind of... Yeah, that kind of got rid of the um, chance to remove that block. Damn, I was looking for one combination to pull off. Just one mega combination. Alright, we got one, we got one. Because, I mean, that's probably our best hope of breaking through the uh, ice blocks here. Alright, I've failed this stage a number of times now and it's starting to get really, really frustrating. So what we, what, ugh, what we are deciding to do is, we're going with Mega Lucario here. We're just going to go for Mass Destruction and just try and cause as much chaos as possible. We still get the Mega Start, but this time we are going to go with an extra 5 moves. And hopefully that does make the difference. I mean, I've tried enough times now and I just don't think... I mean, we could have tried different Mega Pokemon, but we're going to try and get through this one as quickly as possible. Alright, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Wish us luck. Alright, 28 moves. It's, it's a lot of moves, but seriously, you pretty much have to use all of them up to stand any chance here. Alright, um, yeah, I'm not even sure how we should start this one. Okay, I guess this would, this would be a decent move. And I've kind of noticed the best thing to do is still try to save some of your mega Pokemon, don't use them all at once just for the sake of it, just try and keep some to the side because the, the um, countdown is pretty consistent, it happens a lot so you've got to be extra careful of that. So yeah, definitely one thing to keep in mind. Anyway, uh, we want to break through unless, hmm, ah man, yeah too much to think about here. Um. Uh, rough start, rough start. Okay, that didn't work out too bad, I guess. And we'll follow that up with another Sceptile. Yeah, we just mix those two, we'll just get uh, some more Lucarios into the mix. And um, that worked slightly well. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, awesome. Yeah, man, we gotta make sure those Lucarios keep dropping. Alright, what we got there? Okay, not what we're looking for. Damn, we've got none, none below. Okay. Every move counts, guys.
Are we out of moves? No, we're not, we're not, not quite yet. Yeah. yeah, I'm just waiting for a reshuffle, I don't think there's much on. Alright, cool, cool, shake it up. Shake it up. That's when I hate Lucario. He's not one to kind of string combos together. Oh, wrong one. Alright, we'll hold on to you. We've got four in the bottom row here, so that's very convenient. That is extremely convenient. Um, we've got we've got a good choice here. We'll go with um, yeah, too much of a good choice to be honest. All right, I'll go with that one first because I don't think the countdown actually comes into play until you've uh, got rid of the blocks. Possibly, I'm not too sure. Um, I don't really want to get myself in that situation to find out. Nice. Alright, let's keep those Lucarios dropping. We can break two ice blocks here. Cool. Alright, so, okay, yeah, we definitely would have needed the extra five moves, which is um, a smart thing to do, I think. I mean, you guys may find this one easier than me. But, yeah, as you guys know, I'm not the best Pokemon Shuffle player. But, uh, yeah, it definitely um, made a big difference for us. The extra five moves because that was that would have been our final move and it wouldn't have been enough so with the extra five moves hopefully we can make it through get the victory we've been searching for all right nice okay we've almost got it we've almost got it guys and uh, that should be enough it is that is victory so it took us an extra three moves um yeah honestly i'm not sure what pokemon is best recommended for this stage but we got through it in the end, that is stage 292, and that uh, appeared to be a lot more difficult than originally expected, because I, I felt like, this seems like early days in the game now, because there's like an extra 300 stages, and uh, I, I just feel like, or I expect these stages to be relatively easy, considering there's so many more, but I, I guess you never know. I guess we, we've always got to expect the worst from here on. Alright, um... Yeah, moving on to Jigglypuff. This may be the final attempt of the video, the final stage of the video. Uh, it's a 50 move stage, it's 293. And um, again, it gives us a mega start. So yeah, they're being extremely generous here. So yeah, let's just uh, get to it. Hopefully this one's not as difficult. Beedrill here to uh, help us out. Always a good option. Yeah, always a good option to have Beedrill. It really is. Alright, nice. Yeah, the frustrating thing, there's going to be a lot of Jigglypuffs appearing on screen. I am a fan of Jigglypuff though, don't, don't get it wrong. Just too many, of, too many of them right now for us to handle. Alright, we better get rid of some of these guys. Uh, Alright, we'll work in this area here. Yeah, Jigglypuff everywhere. Alright, we've got six moves remaining. We are, we're about a third of the way left.
Ah, man. Nice. Oh, we can't even string any string any uh, bee drill together here. Actually, we can. We can. How did I miss that? That was pretty bad of me. <laughs> How did we miss that? Um. Yeah, you know, what? I'm just gonna follow that up again. We've got like one more move after this. We should, yeah, we should have been alright. So I don't think it mattered too much on what we did. But uh, there we go. So guys, that is gonna be the final stage of this episode. Hopefully you did enjoy this week's episode. And I do apologize for uh, slightly delaying the next upload of Pokemon Shuffle. But we are back. We uh, will keep up with the weekly episodes. And uh, hopefully we end things on the good note here with 70% capture rate for a Jigglypuff. We're all good, we're all good. So we end things on a good note. So it's been a pretty successful ep uh, prick, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> A pretty success sucks. Oh, I can't speak today. A pretty successful episode. A rank B, um, 100 coins and a Jigglypuff with 40 attack power. Probably something we won't use, but it's still cool to have because it does help you with the new update. Um, for increasing your rank so we just got to capture 23 more Pokemon to increase our rank but that is going to be all so once again thank you guys for tuning in and um, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next video see ya